Yo, one more time for Troy Bond, everybody. Let him hear it. Ah, it's good to be here. Good seeing y'all. My name's Alex. A uh, little bit about me. I'm from, I grew up in Irvington, New Jersey. That's where I'm from. A town called Irvington, which is uh, really poor and really corrupt. That's what it is. Like, my, my town was weird. Like, my town was so corrupt. Cops did worse crimes than the people in the neighborhood. It was weird, too, because it was like, I'll tell you the worst it's ever been. One time, a cop got drunk, got in his cop car, and drunk drove and crashed into our apartment building. I was mad because when he got out the car, this nigga was so drunk, he acted like he was responding to the scene of a crime. <laughs> like, he got out the car, started writing a police report on himself. He said, what he look like? I'm like, you, bro. <laughs> started calling for backup. He's going to break a six. We got a situation. I'm like, bro, you are the situation. <laughs> Town is weird, man. But I'll tell you one thing, too. When you grow up in a poor neighborhood, nobody tells you you're poor as a kid. Think about that. No, no, no parent wants to admit to not doing well. It's true. So every poor kid has a moment where they realize things aren't going that well. And I'll tell you why. Uh, my poor moment came when I signed up for community service in school and the bus went right back to my neighborhood. I said, what the hell? I'm like, did, did I just sign a permission slip to go home? <laughs> it bothered me too, because like they never said where we were going, but the teacher talked a lot of shit. That's all she did. She was just like, all right, kids, when we get there, a lot of people don't have jobs, a lot of people don't have food. Just be ready for what you about to see. The bus stopped. I'm like, bitch, I live here. What'd you say? Say it again. <laughs> That's a true story. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That is something that actually happened. I did do community service in my own neighborhood. And I'm not gonna lie neither. I didn't say anything on the trip. I, I, didn't, I didn't want my classmates to know that I lived there. But y'all know how weird it is to do community service and your neighbors recognize you? Like, real talk. <laughs> It was weird, because I was like, you ever give out the food and need the food at the same time? Real talk, all I did was give out soup. I was that guy, it's a very easy job. First guy walks up, I said, uh, I said, good morning, sir, would you like some soup? But he knew who I was. He goes, I think we both need some soup, actually. <laughs> it's like, sir, please. <laughs> I think being broke in my family's genetic, I'm not gonna lie. I think we do it too well, I think so. I'm doing better now, but you know, there's always signs you could tell when you broke, right? Like, the biggest sign is when you broke, you don't hear from people you want to hear from. You hear from people you have to hear from. It's true. Like, for instance, I had a birthday a couple, couple months back, right? And, you know, when you wake up on your birthday, I like to wake up to a lot of notifications. I want to see, like, all, like, 100 missed calls, like, 20 missed text messages. I want all that. Woke up on my birthday to one notification. Was a happy birthday email from creditkarma.com. <laughs> and I'm mad because I thought, who gave them the email? <laughs> like, how'd they get that? And that's not something you want to, you don't want to check that. That's not an email you check on your birthday. You don't want to do that. Because, like, what are they really going to say? Happy birthday, Alex. This is a big day for you. You and your credit score both turned 28 today. Like, no, don't. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> i tell you what I hate, too. It's like, okay. It's like, you know, I, I've struggled. I have. We've all been humble. I, I've had a moment. Like, when your card declined, that, that's a humbling moment. But let me take it a step further. You guys have been locked out your debit card? Real talk. They only lock your debit card when they suspect fraudulent activity. That's true. When they think it's somebody else using the card, they lock it. But let me ask you guys something. You guys have been doing so bad, you gotta explain to your bank that's just you doing all the dumb shit on the card, not somebody else. I'm not even lying. PNC called me one time, they were like, look, sir, we just wanna know, who did 65.99 to OnlyFans? I'm like... Yeah, who's that? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta figure this one out. I don't know, lock it, keep it. I don't need it. It's fine. But did the payment go through? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's true, it's true. I, I got two sisters, they're both doing better than me though. And that's fine, I, I love my sister to death, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like my oldest sister, she's a dermatologist, right? And she married uh, an ER surgeon, Justin, the ER surgeon. The youngest sister is a PhD student and her fiance is an aerospace engineer. Which is true, exactly, wow. Cause my name's Alex and I just got done eating cereal for dinner. Like you understand? <laughs> Fruity Pebbles, they was magically delicious. I'll tell you this last thing I'll get out of here. The best part to having a sister who's a doctor is that you get to ask her for help with anything. But my problem is my sister never takes me serious. One time I visited her in North Carolina, and I'm down there, and my knees start hurting. So I'm talking, I said, Christina, my knees hurt. Can you give me an idea of some things I could do to get through the knee pain? She's like, what about the dishes? Did you try washing the dishes you left downstairs in my sink? <laughs> I get mad when she does that. So instead, all I do now, I just compare my sister to a better doctor. That's it. It's the best way to get back at somebody. Problem is, I couldn't think of any good doctors in the moment to compare her to. So I looked at it, I was like, oh, really? The dishes? Dr. Dre wouldn't have said that, okay? He got platinum albums. 
Guys, thank you so much. My name's Alex Crow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Ta!